Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a beautiful card for you today using the Scenic Pumpkin Patch uh, stamp set, but there's a lot of other things going on here too. Um, this stamp set doesn't have any sentiment, so I've pulled out throughout the year using a birthday sentiment. And then the really fun part of this card, I think, are the fall leaves that are there behind our, our uh, little pumpkin patch. And these um, are the autumn uh, leaves dies that are really awesome. We're going to do some watercoloring and then cut uh, the watercolor paper out with the dies. Um, so let's start with that part first. Let's see if I can get organized here. Um, all right, the first thing you're going to want to do is get a piece of watercolor paper, and I have taped mine down to um, just a piece of chipboard with some painter's tape. And the colors that I am using are Cajun Craze, and we've got Crushed Curry, and we've got Pumpkin Pie. And what you see here, this kind of mess right here, are my blocks that I use as basically like painter's palettes. I kind of just tap them into the ink pad to get the ink picked up, and then we're going to use those as our painting palettes. So I've got my water painter in some water. I'm just going to prime my paper get it nice and wet before I start. And there's no real right or wrong way to do this. Um, we're just gonna drop color onto this paper. I'm gonna start with pumpkin pie over here on one side. And you can see I'm just dropping it. Sometimes I'm gonna drag the color. And the more water you have, the more intense, or the less intense the color will be. So now I'm just going to get the Cajun Craze and kind of do the same, pick up some more water. And you just want to play. Now this is going to take some time because what I recommend is doing this and then letting it dry and then doing it again on top, another layer, and then letting it dry and then doing it again. You see, what I, you see where I'm going here, right? And you're just going to keep adding layers and layers of color. And one of the most interesting parts of water coloring is that when the, the puddles dry they leave some texture along the sides so that's my favorite part and the more you do that the more layers you do with that do it that way the more uh, variations and more interest you're going to have on your paper so you can also get some of the col other color like Cajun Craze, and we'll just kind of drop some over here so that we just really are going to have lots of different colors going on. All right, so now this is going to take a good, just depending on your climate, good 10 minutes to dry, and then we'd start the process all over. So I've already done that ahead of time. I'm going to set this one aside and you can see here all the different layers. Each time I did a different layer the puddle dries and it leaves that little um, that edge there and that's my favorite part. One thing that I didn't do yet here is I'm going to take Cajun Craze and some water and I'm going to flick some dots on here just for one final little added bit of texture, okay? So just flick that on there. You're gonna get a little messy, that's okay. It just washes right off. Really don't even need soap for the most part. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside and give it some time to dry while we work on the other part of our paper. All right, so really the star of our card are these cute little pumpkins, and we're gonna stamp them here just on a basic white, stylish, shape circle in pumpkin pie. But if you'll notice, you can see the fence behind those pumpkins. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do a little bit of masking so that that fence will actually be behind. All right, we're gonna stamp first our pumpkins here, just right in the middle like this. And then grab your pecan pie and stamp your uh, stems. Now, grab a post-it note, and I've already done this ahead of time. I keep it in here. Once you do it once, then you can just keep it. Stamp your pumpkins on a sticky note, 
And then we're gonna cover them up like this. All right, and then we're gonna get the fence and stamp the fence there, okay, like this. Now, when I pull off that post-it note, you can see that it only stamped, you know, behind the pumpkins because this was covering the pumpkins and it didn't stamp on top of them. So just a fun little masking technique for you so that you can layer those things a little bit easier. Um, the other thing that you're going to need to do is stamp the sentiment in Versamark on an early espresso stylish shape banner, which I've already done. I embossed it with white embossing powder and then cut out a, uh, this is a tag from the Marius Trees dies and I've cut it out of our Country Woods Designer Series paper. I'm gonna put that tag kind of over, or the circle kind of over like that. And then we'll put our sentiment, also with dimensionals, right there. Okay, now one of the fun funnest, the most fun, parts of this card is the ribbon. Did you notice the ribbon? This is from my friend Kay Cogbell. She was trying to find some ribbon to match a project and she decided she was just going to add ink to the edge of her uh, basic beige ribbon and it's so easy. So let me show you. The first thing I like to do is to see how much ribbon I need for my bow. Give myself just a little bit of extra. Okay, cut that off. Then get your uh, whatever color you want, I'm using pumpkin pie, stamp and blend, and we're just gonna go along the edge. Now you're gonna think, oh my gosh, I can't get that straight, that'll look terrible. Well, let me guarantee you that mine is not straight at all. But once you get the ribbon tied and the bow is together, it just looks just right. It's kind of a country feel, kind of a rustic feel, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Right, and I'm using the brush in tip here. I find that's just an, a little bit easier to slide along the edge. So thanks to my friend Kay for a great idea. And you could of course color the whole ribbon with this stamp uh, and blend if you wanted. But I really like the look of the stripe. All right, and then you're just gonna tie your ribbon. Get it perfect. Hold that center and you can pull those ends and it'll adjust for you like that. And there's your cute little bow. Okay, now let's die cut our leaves. I think we've given that enough time to dry. I'm gonna peel that off. The reason I taped it down is because you saw the amount of water that I used, um, and water will cause your um, paper to kind of curl. So when you tape it down like that, that doesn't happen. Now I'm gonna cut out as many leaves as I can from here, and I'm gonna cut out more than I'm gonna use on this project, because I have another project right after this, I'm filming the video for, where I'm gonna use some of these leaves over there as well. So, in case you're wondering, we're going to end up with more leaves than we need. All right, let's run this through. Now, let's see, come back this way. All right, let's get all of our leaves out and you can see that texture on there the dots especially really add a lot to it i like to use my take your pick tool to get all of these leaves out of here They've, all the dies have holes in them to help you push those out all right there are those wow so pretty the more layers of color you add to your, 
to your, I'm trying to think of what size leaves I need for my next project. I don't think I necessarily need another big one. Let's just do the smaller ones. The more layers of color you add to your watercolor paper, the more vibrant and intense the color is gonna be. So give yourself a day and just, every time you walk by it, add some more color. Add some more color, add some more color. And then by the next day, it'll be completely dry and you will have this gorgeous paper. All right, now I'm, I'm gonna just leave these all in here for later. See, we've used almost all of our paper, but I wanna show you these dies have this other really special um, thing that you can use, and they're the veining, like this. Now it will completely cut out the vein from the leaf, but I like to just kind of leave it stuck in there. So when you pull it off of your cut and emboss machine, a lot of times it'll just stay stuck, but you want to kind of try to keep them together. All right, where did I put my other clear plate? It's underneath, of course. Slide this back on here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's get them straight. Try that again. All right, so see how I just kind of left that? And then when I get it to come up, my uh, plates are, are pretty textured, so things are really sticking to them. There we go. And then I can just kind of poke it down in there. We're going to stick it down with some adhesive so it'll stay. All right, there we go. Now one more thing I wanna show you, this really cool die that we have also in the Autumn Leaves die set. We're gonna add texture. This is just gonna add basically like stitching lines to our card. So this is a thick, basic white card base. And I'm gonna do this little design in the upper right quadrant, if you will, of the card in the bottom left quadrant. Not really corner, because it almost goes all the way down. Oh, that one's not straight. Gotta get it straight. If you're having trouble like I am, because my plates are so warped, get your post-it tape, and it'll hold it in place. All right. There we go. See how that just added a little bit of what looks like stitching. All right, let's layer all of this up. I'm gonna start with our center or focal piece. And I'm gonna put those dimensionals kind of in the middle like this so we can tuck those um, leaves in there. All right, we'll do that. And then we're gonna get our adhesive. And I'm just gonna run it across the back of that leaf and stick that as far back as I can so that it's not hanging out too much outside of the card because we want the card to fit in the envelope. Let's see. Well, yeah, let's do it like that. All right, and then we'll get this one. And this one I'm going to kind of tuck down here on the side like that. And then our bow is going to go right there. And then we'll just tuck one of the smaller ones down here in this corner. And actually, I feel like maybe we could do two. These are so pretty. Well, no, because I want to save some of them for the inside. Well, yeah, I think we've got enough. Put that one like that. Let's see, I think I want that one on the top because it has more color variation. And just play around with them. There we go. Now I've got my faux glass dots and let's add pumpkin pie dots. You could do the Cajun craze ones if you wanted. Whichever ones you want. But then wait, we're not done on the inside. We're going to add a little more detail on the inside. Let me bring this back over. I've got my fence stamp. And I'm going to stamp it about mm, a little more than an inch off the bottom. Like that. And then we'll just layer up some leaves 
down here. Let's see, can we make the big one work? I think we can. There we go. On the inside like that. There we go. Now we're done. Now every time you make these leaves, they're gonna look different. You can see I had more Cajun craze here. And over here I have more pumpkin pie. But still, just as beautiful. All right, now you guys, there's a free PDF for you over on my blog. Make sure you hop over there and get it. And check out my other two scenic pumpkin projects. Um, and uh, have fun stamping. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.